up in the jungle doing some stacking for the bat rider uh maybe the lena but more likely the bat and in which case uh, it may just be 2v1 in the offlane. It's easy. Getting fairly That's low. Loner wants to chase this one down. He is going to have another reality rift in about five seconds, but the Raze is bringing him low. RTZ is trying to man up, but RTZ is actually a man down. Nikwa drawing first. They're not done yet. The Shadow Fiend. So they have no idea where these supports are, but in the end, I think they wanted to back. Oh, RTZ. That's a four second stun, but oh, they need the plus one to come in a little bit sooner. They can't get it. Now Mad pulled back into tower. I can also come in and straight Lacuna to the face. That was basically a full HP Rubik until like, but not any longer. Now the Quap! Zai, what a play. He wipes all three with the ultimate combo. They do end up getting RTZ in the end. It's a three for two. It's not that bad yet, but now they hunt down Loda. What do you really do if you're alliance? They have no one even close to a BKB, a Yule Scepter, a Manta style, a Diffusal Blade. There's just nothing to deal with the silence and Wisp Wisp is just food at this point for that Queen of Pain and hey, Oh, bottom lane. We're gonna have our big clash. First relocate up the game, but it's into a three hero fissure clap! They might all just drop here. Requiem it gets deleted from the fight practically now. They're diving onto Pycat with their Bruce split. Another blink forward. Secret just wrecking Alliance in these fights. Zai may go down though. That's a big streak to end, but unfortunately, it's Mad who gets the kill. Your Ogre getting it. Not really ideal. Though they'll take it. They try to turn it around here. Loda doing good damage. It ends up being a four for three at the end. And they end the big kill streak of the Queen of for Secret. There. Uh, I do want to point out that Puppy is now Arteezy's ring bearer. He's strutting around with his rate of Aquila. And uh, very very thoughtful support play from him, keeping our tort nice and comfy. He'll give that back for this Aegis is lost as Nikwa makes his go top, finds the lasso and curl. They may get a quick takedown here on the Rubik. They will. But Secret, they're looking for something a little more ambitious, OD. They're backstabbing. <laughs> They certainly are. They've got all the ults online. Can they catch him out here? There's the blink clap. Puppy preparing himself. He's got the echo slam. He might not even need it. Nikwa goes down. Loaded trial to TP out. There's your echo slam. Blows up the IO. Orchid is going to stop loading in his tracks. He tries to arm lip toggle, but you can't arm lip toggle the entire team of Secret away. And while well, Secret, three heroes taken down from a round. They're ready to go back in. Puppy, of course, has got the Echo Slam up back off cooldown. Level 11 as well. It's going to do a lot of damage if it catches them all in the near vicinity. But they're, they're there's no lasso. Just too scared. There's no yeah. lasso. Batrider not what even bothering to buy back. Why, why not go for it? You still have Aegis. You still have your Bruce, but I mean, really, Secret used hardly anything there. Alliance are the ones who committed and didn't get much out of it. Now, the siege continues. Our tour mech going to cool down soon. And the front lines here as S4 will get caught. Can he get off that split? He really needs to. No! The Golden God Loda brings him down. Now, the chase onto Arteezy. He's going to get pulled back in. Aegis quickly dealt with. They do have an Echo Slam soon. Fissure not for three seconds. They make it, Arteezy. No, BKB. And let's see if they chase. Nikwa in the front lines. He tanks the Echo. He's driving them all back. Your Requiem used but everyone nicely spreads on the side of alliance damage is reduced for now but it's gonna end soon perhaps they lose Arteezy twice they will it's three down they're not even done yet Kuroki with the stolen sticky napalm trying to slow the chase they don't on top of the orchid and the eggs and the plate mail and here comes the damage onto the tier threes Ogre <laughs> the stolen, the map. The stolen phantasm all these little rubik's hitting the tower it's pretty cloudy <laughs> oh wow it's actually and adorable as well he got the bonus fourth one so well and the RNG Lucky and and good. Well, oh, top left. Look at that. The initiation bursting the bat down straight away. There's going to be a buyback. RTZ has got BKB, but he's, of course, got the Aegis as well. BKB was popped by Zai, but the buyback from Nico comes in with the Lasso, trying to hold the Queen of Pain in place, but the Light Striker race is a little bit too late. And now here comes the S4 on the Brood, popping the Primal Split. Magica, he does get a stun out onto the Fire Spirit, but it's just space being created for Secret because they're clearing up the middle racks, and there's not a lot that lines could do. Loda going in now onto RTZ. The crit's there. But Aegis is available, and Arteezy is going to be back for round two. Loda trying to pick off this. <laughs> Good over there, Kuroki. He stole the lasso. He holds the big old man on his big old horse in place. Ake okay. with the tether, keeping the Chaos Knight alive. Loda, he's not happy with the side of secret. Arteezy gets blown up. Puppy coming in with an Echo Slam. It's not quite enough to find Loda, who is still alive. And there's two heroes down on the side of secret. Maybe even more, because Kuroki getting chased down by Magica. Nikwa, Nikwa getting low. Magica as well. He's trying to bring down the Rubik and he will find it. Majka, is he going to get away with this S4? I don't think he can go back in. No, there's a relocate. Alliance, they want more and they're going to find it. It's going to be a full team wipe going the way of Alliance and Secret. They oh do my. Get the range tracks.
But it's. It was, I mean, by all accounts, Secret were dominating this game early, but all of a sudden, there's no split push. The massive army of knights comes marching down mid. They have their Bruce, but they don't even want to use it just yet. And to me, MVP of this game of Secret Win has got to be Puppy. He needs a big Echo Slam to turn this fight. He certainly does, and he's preparing himself on the left, looking for that blink in. Throws a Fisher down. BKB popped by Loader. He wants to find these racks, though, and he certainly will with those Phantasm Illusions doing so much damage. Blinking from S4 gets Yule up straight away by Pycat. Can they catch out Loader? There's your Rod of Outer. ATOS bringing him down. BKB popped by S4 into the Primal Splits just so we can get it off. RTZ coming in, but no one's actually being blown up on the side of Alliance. Magica taking a bit of damage now in the sidelines, in the trees. He gets off a stun onto Kuro, but he does go down. And, uh, it's going to be they only as well. lose the ogre. Oh yeah. yeah. Ake has to come back, so they lose two supports, but they get the Queen of Pain kill. They get a melee Rex. Great trade for Alliance. They're, they're happy with that one. Just look at how bad of a farmer CK is in general. Yeah, Lodi's done a great job at catching back up and really getting himself at the forefront of the game there. Might be a fight about to kick off here. Alliance looking for a wrap round. Niqua, can he find initiation? He will onto Zai. Brings the Queen of Pain is the fight. Laguna Blade gonna blow down the co-op straight away. There's a Fisher coming in, but it's not going to be enough to stop the aggression of Alliance because Loda just wrecking face with these illusions. Look at them. Bite down onto Arteezy. Arteezy, even with the BKB, he can't do a lot here. Loda brings Puppy back. Arteezy's gonna be able to find the blink and TP straight out. Niqua can't find the flame break it's still on cooldown only one person actually died so far on the side of team secret alliance they're still alive pika pops the bkb wants to find something here it's s4 on the high ground Nikwa chasing down puppy and will find the earth shaker but still are they going to look for any more alliance they want to find s4 he's got the blink available and he will blink out indeed and i don't think alliance can chase this pika trying to boost his movement speed four staffed in by the bat rider s4 with the dukes though I think he's going to be able to get out of this one. Oh, no, no, there's the blink. Niqua and the Yules, they are going to find him. He hasn't got Primal Split, of course. It was already used in the previous fight. Laguna Blade blowing him down. And LD Alliance, they're finding these fights and they're not losing. One BKB, and he's uh, basically a useless hero outside of the ultimates. The, the downside of this build is uh, he has no right click. And without, the, without the, the ultimate, he can't do anything. So they're going to walk in. They may take the entire base. This... I don't know if it's GG, but it's getting to a point where Secret, where is the comeback going to come from? They're, they just can't kill Loda. Even with the double Requiem, he got them both off there, and Loda's illusion still survived through that. Now they'll find their lasso pick in the shadow of the fountain. They're trying to close out Secret here. Quapult will remove your Wisp for now, but Zai up against it. Laguna comes through. They just need a crit or two. Gem on the floor, but nobody's concerned with that. Now they won our tour. They're going to chase them over. They'll get the kill. There's a buyback, but what does it matter? He's buying back with half his souls, only a single Requiem now, the f it's just come off cooldown. Getting mad is not even good enough, uh, and well, do they get him? For now, he's taking up, he gets a multicast to Puppy, he's out of mana for a second, he will get the kill. Two lanes of Rex down, they just fall back on their precious Shadow Fiend, and it really feels like what that you really want to jump into first, because you're just not going to be able to kill him. The rest of the team are going to come in by the time you've only got him down to half health and Meloda. Oh, to find a kill. Nice feature from Puppy and the Blinken and the Echo Slam. Is it enough though? Zai tries to get the damage onto Pycat, but the tether of Ramake keeping him alive. No one's dead yet on the side of Alliance. Alliance getting fairly low. Arteezy coming in with a nice Red Room of Souls, but he gets brought back by Loda and slapped down with the crits. Alliance, they do lose the Ogre and the Io, and maybe even Loda. Can they find Loda? There's going to be a Batrider jumping into the Quap, and the Pig's coming out. He wants the Chaos Knight to help him, but Chaos Knight, he's got his own issues, and he is going to fall fairly quickly to the punches of S4 Puppy and Kuro, and they're gonna find the bat as well. Oh, but the secret. creeps are marching in. The creeps are pushing in mid and bottom. They've got no racks in either lane. An alliance. Wanna force the issue. Loda comes in. He doesn't have Phantasm though. Keep that in mind. BKB is available. He's got the Manta as well. The Drunken Haze used. Roche dropping low. And here we go. Nikwa into the pit for now. Doesn't have a last one. He's just trying to stall here. A secret are very slow at this motion though. Hardly any right click to work with Loda. There's your Manta. Pulls in Puppy. Doesn't finish the job though. The Roche hits the deck. The Brewmaster of Esport grabs it. They also get the Roche last hit. Now Pycat dead. And it's just Loda left alive. Oh, okay, rotating in though. He for now Loda pushed up foot in the high ground here this is an awful position can he get back down and make something happen uh yeah there's your reality ref jumps back down has no wisp though and can they even kill loda he's missing like every attack it feels between the evasion the drunken haze s4 able to get the job done wins the man fight the creeps were doing some damage here they lost a tier four 
That's a dieback though. The secret have had for the last uh, 20 minutes of the game. The secret to get some objectives done, and they're certainly going to find it. Top lane, they do clear out the rats. Are they trying to find anything more? They might be able to. It's a bit of a bold attempt. Only S4 and Zai are here. Machka could come in and try and blow up the brew, and brew is just going to intentionally pop the Aegis, so that's going to be an opportunity for Machka to come in oh. with the multicast. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, Zai. There's your buyback from the Queen of Pain. Wants to get straight Has back into the fight. Yes, gets I think they, self I, Do I have this? Base. No chaos night for 40 seconds. This is going to take some really good kiting and crowd control here from Alliance. I, I, they need some RNG here from the from the Ogre, it seems. The tower's dropping low. Secret trying to just end this game. Close Alliance out. In comes Nikwa to start. He gets off the lasso on Arteezy, but now a stolen lasso from Kuro as Zion leaps forward onto Pycat, forcing it back. There's Requiem. Number one. They don't have a second. It's still cooling down, and it seems Secret may have stolen this game from Alliance. It looked like it was all theirs. Long live Alliance no longer. They'll pound the throne. Your stolen lasso from Kurogi just taunting wow. them. What a turn of events. What a turn of a turn of a turn of events. Alliance, it looked like they'd come back into it. The Chaos Knight was proving to be a real issue and secret. At the end of the day, they realized that. They were very fortunate that Loda bought back into that Roshan fight and then they were able to take it take it uh, positively. Now, I've got to say hats off to Zai's play. Even in that Roche fight,